this is ARTV Kano. Our viewers would like to know your name, what you do, and then we'll go on to talk about um, our topic of discussion. Okay, thank you very much. My name is Austin Irame, and I work as a program officer, Democratic Governance for the Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center. It's CISLA for short. Okay. Okay, so let's even look at some of the work that CISLA has been doing. Majorly, you're known for policy advocacy and all that, election issues and all that. So it's really, um, it's a welcoming thing to see that you're also going into other human angles that are also a bit challenging and dicey. And then CISLAC like being a reputable organization, it's, um, it's also a good one, you know, bringing in um, civil societies and all that. So what are some of the things that um, your organization has been working on? Okay, so at the moment we have strategic focus areas that include the issue of conservation of nature and natural resources. We talk about human development. We talk about issues around migration and under our migration portfolios there's the general peace and security interventions, issue of forced displacement. Then we also have the issue of democratic governance. So within these thematic areas, we actually develop programs and points for legislative advocacy to ensure that everything that we do at the end of the day is for the betterment of citizens and the welfare of the people out there. Within these um, tracks that we work on, we've also been able to somehow get involved in tobacco control, which to, today brings us to Northwest Nigeria. Okay, so what are we looking at when it comes to um, tobacco control and um, what, what are some of the things, you know, basically that maybe people may not know um, about its um, adverse effects and all that? Okay, very importantly is the fact that each stick of cigarette contains over 4,000 poisonous substances and ingredients. I'm sure you didn't know that up until today. So when they say um, health warnings and the tobacco industry puts on the cigarette packs, for instance, that smokers are liable to die young, the, the, the message is drawn from the contents of the cigarettes. Those amongst those contents beyond nicotine, you have chemicals and ingredients as dangerous as tar. I'm not sure you knew that as well. So the issues around tobacco use and consumption are very widespread. And tobacco control, from what we have seen, is a multi-sectoral issue. When you are engaging in tobacco control, you gradually begin to understand that tobacco control has an economic aspect to it. It has a social aspect to it. It has a health aspect to it. It has a human aspect to it. You understand? So when you put all of this in their different perspectives, you then begin to understand that everybody has a role to contribute in ensuring that Nigeria as a country has increased tobacco control initiatives and the existing National Tobacco Control Act is duly implemented for the betterment of the people. Um, before we even talk of uh, maybe one or two of the acts, which I know some people also might not know, there's this um, side where Nigerians are a bit um, complacent when it comes to that, and you find people say, well, I'm not a smoker, so, and all that, and they, are, they don't know they are also passive smokers, which they are also, even as liable and susceptible that, than the smokers or even as the smokers so what's that angle that we need to stress to people because just when you talk about even tobacco sometimes they even accuse you that um, they accuse people that you are even actually promoting it indirectly so what are nigerians supposed to know about this other aspect that could pose a danger to them so, so one of the things we always focus on in our advocacy points is the issue of secondhand smoking and third-hand smoking when we ask people that, have you ever smoked, they say, no, I've never smoked, I'm not a smoker. But what they don't understand in the early stages is that just being around the environment, around the circles where smokers do their business, you are already a second-hand smoker. And you are almost 
as at a, at a negative position as the person who consumes those tobacco products. So it, it brings us to the aspect of awareness and sensitization. That's why we have it as a focus, the building of civil society organizations' capacity to be able to take on these issues holistically. Whether you are working on health, you are working on education, you are working on agriculture, any area that you are working on, environment, there is an aspect of tobacco control advocacy for you to take on and become a specialist on. We, 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 we ensure that at the subnational level, because we may be able to achieve some form of um, a, a considerable amount of implementation of the act at the federal level, which is at Abuja. But when you go down to the subnational level, to the states, that's always where the challenge lies. How aware are citizens that there's such a law? And beyond just being aware, has um, the relevant actors that are supposed to contribute to effective implementation of this law playing their respective roles to ensuring that the law is being implemented? So that's why we focus at the subnational level. Like today, we are not West Nigeria, cannot to be precise. We've been able to gather relevant actors from across the states within the Northwest to bring them together so that when they go back, that little voice can begin to add value to our tobacco control mm -hmm. initiative at the national level. Well, on your parting word, what will it be? Vigilance. Vigilance on the part of any individuals to protect their own health against any onslaught being mounted by the tobacco industry in ensuring to, to, to make them more access to give them more access to tobacco products one vigilance on the part of individuals on activities of the tobacco industry in terms of interference because we the tobacco industry has been known to always want to um, subvert the introduction and implementation of inner policies and laws that are meant to control the use and consumption of tobacco products so the, 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 the public must be aware of these antics of the tobacco industry and be vigilant to both contributing their roles to effectively implementing the act and for their own public health benefits as well.